Here we have another quick and fast one. It's this one here, and it's done on a glidden paint chip. So we start with a pretty uh, simple color and then uh, use alcohol inks and washi. So this is actually uh, pretty fast going. I think the video is only going to end up being, I don't know, maybe seven or ten minutes, if that. But it's uh, the effect is really nice, I think. And uh, so, yep, thank you again for joining me. And please subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you. Okay, so I've got one of the Glidden paint chips here from Home Depot. This one is red grapefruit. And I'm going to use some washi tape and kind of going off the color here. But I first want to get down just a little bit of color. Turn my phone off. And then I've got these alcohol inks by a Christy Taylor Creation. She's in the Stencil Club uh, Facebook group. And so to support, you know, a smaller uh, artist, I bought some. So I'm going to play with those today. And again, you can find her at ChristyTaylorCreations.com. And so the alcohol inks that I have are Juno Brown, Rio Red, uh, Astoria White, and Luna Black. And what I'm looking for is basically just something permanent. Once I start getting these layers on here, I don't want them to um, run or to bleed and um, be water soluble. So I'm just going to start with some of the brown. This is a really light brown and just go through Tim's stencil here which is the mini 1118 it's very subtle let's get the bigger one on here oh I'm kinda cleaning my stencil as I do it it's kinda cool Get some of the Rhea Red. These are real subtle translucent colors. I really like them. And because there's a coating on this paint chip, they're going to move around a little bit too, which is just a bonus. Okay. I'm going to take and lay down some of my washi tape. This is a uh, James, uh, I'll have it in the link. I'm, I'm kind of at a blank right now. If you've seen any of his stuff, I'm sure you recognize his drawings. pulled out quite a few. I don't know if I'll use them all. I'm just looking for different weights.
Okay, so now I did end up adding, I like the girl, so I just broke that those numbers up by adding her on there. I've got some Juno Black here, and Okay, so I've got some circle here, so I am going to add a little bit of circle element up here. So I've got some archival. I've got my distress brush here, um, so it's going to get in there real nice. And I want to do like the more graduate, uh, the graduated, how do you say that? The gradual. The brush makes it real nice and soft in there. Yeah, that's what I needed. Just a small little layer. And then what I found too, keeping with the washi tape, I'm gonna, I've got some of this lace washi and I'm going to rough this up. And it's really just wanting to add that little bit of fabric to it since it's a collection of different you know fabrics always good or some type of fiber is always good to add I think and it's kind of drawing the attention I really like that drawing this drawing of the girl with this narrow chin <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty good. And then I also found this washi too that we can add just on top of this to keep with that bold black, like so. Maybe even tiny attach for some metal. There. And I think that's pretty much done. Maybe a little, let's add some more a little bolder, concentrate in that spot a little more, get a bolder. So yeah, I think that's pretty done.